This is a quick tutorial that shows you how to run one of these tubular style actuators at Fergeli Automation Cells. This is an FA05 with a 6 inches of stroke. It has clevises built on both ends. It's very heavy duty. Um, two wire configuration and built in limit switches. So when you extend it, it'll automatically stop. And when you retract it, it'll automatically stop as well. To show you it running, I'm just going to use a 9 volt battery. It'll be a bit slow because it's only 9 volts, but it'll show you it working. Extend, retract. Now notice this turns, and that's because you would need to use something like this. This is an MB3 bracket that you can buy from the website. They fit on both ends, and they come with a, a, a side pin as well. So we'll just install that like this. And that way, when you install this into your application, uh, that will prevent this from rotating. You've got lots of freedom with these brackets. You can uh, install it like this or like that and rotate it however you like. And the same goes for this one as well. You just install the bracket like that or you can install it like this. So lots of freedom uh, with this. Now to run the actuator, obviously you're not going to hook it directly to a, a power supply. You're going to use something like this. This is a rocker switch that also sold on Fergeli Automation's website. This is a uh, momentary style, center off, so up and down, and it's spring-loaded to the center. They also do a sustaining type, so that when you press it in the up position, it stays in the up position, and down, it stays in the down position. Very simple to uh, wire up. The wiring diagram is also on the website where you can buy this. And that's the most common way of running an actuator. 12 volt power source, either from a battery or a power adapter, a rocker switch, an actuator, two brackets, and you're good to go.